результат. Пабло Перес и Леонардо Понцо были на ваших экранах. И команды Гильермо Барас, Келота, ворота Хестебана Андрада, центр обороны Карлос. И... Ривер, формально хозяин поля Франк Арма. Сейчас в Испании над стадионом Сантьяго Бернабео разговаривали, как же быть, что же делать, где играть, чтобы все были довольны. Вы... Они тоже сегодня пришли, пришли легендарные футболисты. Команд нам показывают трибуны. Надо сказать, что не вся аргентинская. И ни одной желтых карточек должно быть достаточно. В этом финале, как не все это понимали, 18 лет назад. Ривер плейт в атаке и нарушение штрафной. Правда. Да. Жестко и, я бы даже сказал, грубо сыграно в этом эпизоде. И таким образом, можно сказать, что это единственная финальная игра. Вот так вот, да? Кто сегодня выигрывает, тот и... Martinez. 24 is Perez. Locks it up to the edge of the area. Here's Olatza. Looking up, trying to swing one in here. Not a great one. Very nearly put into his own net by Medana. What a moment that would have been. Бока перехватывает мяч, Перес делает передачи. Рефери будет иметь глаза на бок его головы, чтобы наблюдать, что происходит здесь. И это будет удар хорошо, хороший удар от Перес. Он сделал очень хорошо, хорошая техника, но он ударил его прямо в Армани. Он должен держать глаза на это, как вы видите, он просто пилит его на бок. down a bit river in possession enjoy a bit of quality possession and build move him is a corner there as well he's moved in towards the near post and the shot from fernandez could have done better with that now straight off the training ground you know you've got four players that, that push the balker players back onto it the... now they're getting bored getting plenty of pace on that and the people will do the center looking for the flick on it'll drop there to pap on And a little flick up in the air, and that had to be put behind by the confirmed corner. There was no point in taking any chances whatsoever there. Well, again, a, a little bit, is it? Vol the only problem for Villa is, as Pav Omvan, is there's no support from Alatza coming up behind him. Nothing coming from in the midfield, and really, that is from River Plate. Ridiculous to give a free kick away there. There's no danger. Sebastian Villa saying of it, referee's whistle goes. Again, they go very, very deep looking for Izquierdos again, and he's claiming that he was being held, and the referee having none of it. There's a free kick. Find a, a little bit of space and opening somewhere. They may well have opened it this time, but a pick up the possession again. He's not having an awful lot of luck, but they very nearly played themselves into big trouble there. Nandez very nearly stole it. Now, what is the outcome of this going to be? There's a card going somewhere here. It's Benedetto, Nandez is coming in. It's oh, it's away. Perez had thought to put that in then. Mendes flying in on the back post. Wasn't a great strike, but the rebound very, very kind indeed. And how close was he to applying a finishing touch? Here? As the corner comes swinging in again, and the whistle goes before the ball even lands anywhere near close. Again, we can see in the box. It is, it's on site. There's a little nudge there. Ooh, the referee was very, very well positioned there. And there are a few who believe that that should have been something other than a corner. Perez is one of them. Scouted by Manchester City a few years ago. Well, there's Lionel Messi up there. Time if they can try and whip some ball in to get some service in there to Pratas, something he can add. Here's Nandes again, much the busier team. And there's going to be just a feeling here that Boca are up for this game and River maybe aren't quite an, an awful lot with the possession he's had. Ponzio is up here now. Ponzio's ball. A great position. Montiel cuts it back there. 
Well, maybe a handball. Nandes is in there, he's had it pickpocketed now. And they're waiting here, Prato's waiting in there. A little bit of time for to the make the cross, there's a barrier. Benedetto's in here, but so too was Armani, and he made a very important interception. Via. Buffarini behind him, this is Buffarini. He'll have a dig barrier if he gets into a position. It's nice to Nandes now, as he overcooked it, no, not quite. But the night there isn't. Well, did Perez do anything naughty there? Was it intentional if he did? The referee is coming over here. Moment and Benedetto's up there. Now they're through. This could be the opening goal. Benedetto's in and he scored. And it should have been a goal at the other end. Benedetto sends the wild. Boca Juniors finally have the breakthrough two minutes before half time, but it could and it should have been so different. Well, what can I say to that one, Tim? Don't be an elation again. All the top scorer there back in 2014 15 and last year's Argentine footballer of the year. And this will be bigger than all of that. And they've decided the best way to deal with him is maybe to take him out of the game. But to be fair, they're too pin. It's up here. There's Nandes going over, looking for the free kick and getting the free kick here. The uh, little Uruguayan who came here from. Again, Prato is the only one as that sails. Keep his positioning into the. dangerous he can be. Yeah, Prato has some service and he wins the ball in the air and this time it's Maidana who launches himself toward that. He gets himself up nice and early, doesn't he? Just does enough the challenge, Barrios. Need some runners into the penalty area. They go deep here. And so there was a chance there. With that it out. They've got Montiel getting down on the overlapping run here. Montiel takes a deflection. First five, ten minutes. Both teams will be looking to do that. It's a decent attempt there, but it's about a metre wide. Well, Fernandez was very much on the periphery in that first half. Nicely laid up for him by Prato. Well, it's the first time really Fernandez has, has come inside and, and looked to link up with the striker. Martinez had found a little bit of space as well. But this is immediately very much more positive, much more on the front foot here. You know, Carasio's back out there to Montez, might have a dick here, and came through a crowd of players there, and Preto was just disguising that as well, so Andrada following the flight of the ball well. Well, we're just pushing it now, aren't they? They're trying to, to get Martinez on the ball more, he was quiet in the first half, Gonzalo Martinez. going down, that's the uh, nickname, the chickens which was given to them by Banfield, and here is a very, very good position. Benedetto looking at Pinola, claiming that he didn't do anything. Reference of the three here. It's a lot to the step up, and that possession of the ball is over the top, and the keeper's comfort, he's not going to get there, but that's going to go out, and they're claiming penalty. And Preto went in heavily then on the keeper, but... You know, he, he's going to go in there. I mean, there's nothing you're going to do to stop him. Oh, because it's a goalkeeper, you know, you see something. Yeah, he's got to do a bit more to get up there and help him. Pavon, he's got Vera in there, Pavon. Maybe Benedetto to be up there along with him, but they've changed the tactic a little bit. they put Benedetto... Which is if he might have been impeded. Uh, Barrios straight here down the line and then just trying to uh, keep it in play. He didn't, he's taken out of it. Why? Prato waiting inside the area, looking to try and attack this, and he does get to it. Twenty-five minutes. That is all that remains. And no man's line. That's a little one who got to cut it back. It's in. It it's the equaliser. Prato beautifully done. The goal's been coming, and it's deserved. All of a sudden. The River Plate fans erupt into noise, and it's Boca's turn to sit in silence. Played by Martinez, Prato waiting inside the penalty area, there he is. 
Montiel off, and it is Maillard who is going on here. Который карается штрафным, а в пределах штрафной площади пенальти. Ну, да. Ну и история с падением Прата, с столкновением с вратарем. И вот это красная вот карточка. Желтая карточка. Вильвар Барриос удален. Опорный бок. И ох, как тяжело будет выходить в команде Бараса Скилота. И третья сохранилась. Ну вот будем смотреть. Есть возможность у Ривера разогнаться. Камила Маяда, подача на Лука Сперлика, выйти на ударную позицию, контратака Павон, встречает его Майдана, Павон открывает. Недалеко выбивается мяч, здесь борьба в штрафной площади Кентера, удар выше ворот. Хуан Кентера в некоторых матчах сборной Колумбии и ярче даже, чем Камес Родригес себя проявлял. Мяч не очень удобно, но преимущество сказывается, численное угловой зарабатывает. В отборе. Нандес поднимает мяч на штрафной. Гигантск. Интеро. Вот на этот раз здорово сыграл Кентеро. Прострел. И сейчас по-прежнему Ривер с мячом. Кентеро выигрывает мяч. Удар. Ну, ратные чемпионы. 33. Титул у Боки. Ривер в атаке. Удар. Рядом с воротами пролетает. Мяч. Вот это было здорово. Наконец-то после разыграли по флангу, да. Диагональ назад прошла. И, может быть, не совсем. Продолжение атаки Ривера. Кентеро. Удар по ворону. Кентеро! Волшебник! Какой гол! Волшебник! Это волшебник Кентеро! И это может быть решающая замена. Фантастика, боже мой! Почти без замахов. Ближнюю девятку от перекладины.